What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame Over 4. In this video we're going to show you how you can turn an old desk like this one. This one's got a bit of sort of had it you know it's got a few chips out of it. We're going to repair it, we're going to wrap the top, we're going to turn it into a marble desk just for Jake and we've already achieved that here but we're going to show you how you can do it for yourself with an eight step video guide turning an old dreary desk into a marble desk which looks really good. We're just trying to upcycle and make sure that we you know show you guys how you you can achieve this look and we're going to show you how straight after this intro okay guys so we're going to get on and show you how to do this this is step one step one we are calling prep and prep is preparation so what you need to do is make sure that you take off any of the dust and dirt that might be on there by using a wipe you can use baby wipes if you want to and make sure that you get rid of those on step two, you want to go around and check for damage because if you have any damage or any chips, you want to take care of that straight away. And the way to achieve that is by filling it in with any wood filler. So you want to get some wood filler and put that into the gaps. Uh, here we've just sort of repaired some bits. We are not going to be doing anything about the side in this video, but we will be painting that white just to achieve that look so you don't see that. You need to take out any shelving that you have and you will need to wipe that down and make sure that that is also dust free once you are finished. Make sure that you sand it down and get rid of any of the rough edges uh, so that you don't have any bits that are going to show in the vinyl wrap when you get to that stage. And I'm just going to go through a couple of things that you will need. So here we have a hairdryer. If you are using your mum's one or your sister's one or your friend's one, make sure you ask them first. You will need a Stanley knife, preferably a craft knife will be good, but I just have blades. Uh, and you will need a pair of scissors. You don't need them this long, probably probably not to kind of compensate for something. But you will also need to go and grab yourself the wrap. I will leave a link to where I got this wrap from because it is really thick and really sturdy stuff. And, it's, and the people will cut it on eBay to the size that you need. So you just need to measure up and order it and it comes in a couple of days and it's really good stuff. Make sure you get the kids involved. So here we've got Jake doing it because obviously this is his project and he wanted to wrap the desk. So we have him involved in this process. Right, so the first thing you need to do once you have the wrap, you need to just take it out. You can heat it and do it as you go, but I prefer to lay it down. Make sure that you, you know, get it level, check the edges, make sure that it's straight. Take your time, you don't need to rush and do it and make sure you've got enough overlap for it to be able to tuck over and under so that you do not see uh, any of the edging. Once you're happy with it, all you need to do is just tap it down for now and then we're just showing you what it looks like there with it just laid on top and then we will move on to the next step. So this is now step five. You will need one of these guys. This is to get the bubbles out. So it's just like a scraper with a felt pad on the end. And when you're heating, make sure you got it on a temperature that's not too hot because you don't want to burn a hole in the wrap but you want to make sure that you get it hot enough to get rid of all the bubbles. We're fast forwarding through this process but you can kind of see how it is achieved. All you need to do is lift up and get rid of any of the bubbles that you might have in the process of doing this. This lifts up really easy because it's so thick it's really easy to lift it up, heat and push the bubbles out. That's all you need to do. So start from the middle or start from one end and then make sure you lift and push and the more that you heat it the more that it's going to stick down but we'll show you how to stop edge peeling in a moment. Once you're finished and you're really happy, give it a nice heat to make sure that the glue is activated and then you can move on to the next step. So in a moment, we'll be moving on to step six. In step six, we're going to be doing the edges and the corners. So I'm just going to show you what you need to do to achieve a nice fine edge and to get it underneath. So you just need to heat it here, as you see uh, in the demonstration that we're doing now. Make sure that you push the corners down, but try to get out the bubbles as you go along. So you wanna work one edge and then take it to the side and then push all the bubbles down and out. Once you are happy with the edging, just do one side at a time. So do one side, do the corner, move on to the next side and then work around until you're finished. Once you get to a corner and you need to do the edge and you just need to cut it at an angle like this. So I'm just going to show you now how you will need to cut it. Once you are happy with the cut, take it all the way to the edge as far as you can. I will go grab a blade and take it because I don't trust myself with the scissors because you don't want to go too far and put a slit in it and then it is ripped on the top. You do not want to achieve that. You want to make sure that it's nice and tight. 
Once you have pushed that corner around, you want to overlap with the front corner, give a bit more heat so that it's all heated up, and then just cut the edge down the side. Just try not to cut into the next bit of vinyl wrap because you do not want to do that because then you're just going to have a hole and it's going to show the white, and that is not what you want to achieve. Here we go. So I'm going to show you. I don't know whether this blade is blunt, but I'm pretty sure I grabbed a new one, but just take your time and push it down. So there you go. Once you're happy with the edge and you've heated it and it's all stuck down, you just need to uh, make sure that you lift the top off. So what we're going to do is just remove the top because we don't need the top on there anymore and we can take that away and work on that on its own. So there you go. So we've now taken the top off. This is now step seven and we're finishing the edges. If you have any pegs, as you can see, we've got pegs in there. Just remove them, put the wrap around so that it wraps all the way over the edge and then just cut a little hole and then put that peg back in. Do not try to cut around the peg. Just make sure you take the peg out and put it back. Don't be lazy guys. Make sure that you just take it out and do it that way. I'm just doing the next edge and then what I'm doing when I'm finishing off on the edges is I'm putting a bit of tape down. This is just masking tape. You probably would be better off if you had some duct tape or something really strong like Gorilla Tape. That just stops it lifting. You can go all the way with the wrap, but you don't need to waste the materials here. We're trying to wrap cycle, and we're just trying to make it look really cool and neat. And I will just show you. There you go. Look, it looks absolutely amazing. It's just so good. And this wrap that you get from this company is really good and really strong. So it's going to last probably the lifetime of the desk, to be fair. Once you're finished and you're happy with the end result, guys, you will need to just piece it all back together. If you want to go and do the shelf as well, we did our shelf in a carbon fiber, just had some carbon fiber left over. You can pick up this wrap pretty cheap from eBay and anywhere, really Amazon, if you've got some local car shop and stuff like that. Some people tend to have it. They won't have the marble wrap, but they will have, uh, you know, the carbon fiber stuff or just anything that they've got left over. Right, so... What you need to do is just piece it together. So just put the top back on, line them up, and just uh, tighten the screws up if that's how yours is held together. You can go even further than this and wrap the sides and the edges and the whole thing and change it up completely and have a complete marble desk. But for this, we just wanted to do the top. And we, if you want to go and do the shelf, you just need to just follow the same process for this as we did with the top because it's going to be the same process. So if you take off each section, you just need to do every section. But remember, if you are doing the inside and the outside, you will need to wrap that separately and make sure that you know, you've know you got both of the edges covered. So there you go. So we're just having a nice detailed look at it. This is sort of like a black gray. Uh, so it's a gray scaled image and it's got uh, colored bits in it. And this is the final result. There you go, guys. So Jake's absolutely happy with this. He, you know, he is buzzing. This is one of the things that he wanted to do. We've been trying to do this project for a while. And the result turned out absolutely amazing. He loves drawing. So this is just going to be perfect for him. If you want to do one for yourself, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.